weather is a very integral part of determining what is going on in the estuary. So it's only appropriate that we monitor weather. Behind me, what we have is our weather station. Well, every National Western Research Reserve uh, in the, the uh, country, and there are 28 of us now, do have a weather station on site. The weather actually is transmitted to the NOAA's GOES satellite. We use that information to uh, not only observe the weather that is currently going on along the lake, and then we also do marine forecasts and where we forecast weather along the Great Lakes. The coastal wetlands, particularly something like this estuary here, is very dependent upon uh, weather conditions for determining what flows into the estuary and what doesn't. At the mouth there's a barrier beach, and whether the barrier beach is open or closed is largely dependent upon rainfall. It's not only just what happens locally here in northern Ohio, um, but also what happens in the rest of the Great Lakes region that affects the water level. In the fall, you do get these, these cold fronts coming through and you get these sudden bursts of cold, cold weather that will cause a frost. The warm air that Lake Erie has absorbed all summer slowly releases during the fall and actually provides a, almost a, a, a slight variation in the, in the climate right along the shoreline. The growing season right here along the lake is comparable to northern Alabama. It allows us to raise later maturity crops, field crops than we normally would raise. There's uh, um, a lot of grapes, uh, orchards, peaches survive here. It's just a nice place to be in business agriculturally. One thing that's unique about the Great Lakes is we get lake effect snow. The air will pass over the warmer lake, pick up uh, moisture. And that temperature difference between the warmer lake and the colder air aloft allows air to rise and become more buoyant. And then when it hits the land, the uh, water will condense and come down as snow. As climate change occurs within the Great Lakes region, uh, climate change will affect weather patterns across the area. And since Old Woman Creek and locations on, along Lake Erie are affected by weather, that changes in the climate could lead to changes in weather, which will lead to an impact. I really couldn't think of anything that weather doesn't impact. Bird migration in particular is controlled by the weather patterns that we have that are moving through the area. Wind will impact whether you can take your boat out. Rainfall will determine whether the beaches are safe for swimming. You know, in many ways, the weather controls everything.